Welcome everyone to our online marketing training. I'm Marvin Bazura with Radus.biz, and we have some incredible insights for you on how to grow your business. Now, it all really starts with a proprietary strategy that we've developed called Five Star Sign In Strategy. Seven simple steps to getting five star reviews from customers guaranteed. And so, we're going to show you how you can easily build a list step by step get reviews from customers on autopilot and be able to get feedback to get five star reviews and then we're going to go over some case studies and these case studies uh, we will give you a reveal how you can literally build your reputation in less than 30 days and we're going to introduce you to our beta program and even give you access to help you grow your reputation and get more customers so here's what we want to do we want to give you a strategy to increase your business up to 19% simply by asking your customers one simple question. And in our case studies, we'll also reveal the results we've gotten within 48 hours. 100% increase in online reviews. More importantly, there's no additional effort from your staff involved. You don't have to do any work to do this. And we're introducing you to mobile versus desktop strategies. Now let's get going. So let's start by looking at the biggest shift in consumer buying in the last 100 years. Now let me ask you a question. Do customers really trust your business? Because after a tremendous amount of studies in the last few years, the question was asked, how many reviews does a customer look up before making a decision? And astonishingly, it's not just a few. It's 10 reviews. So if your business doesn't have 10 reviews online, most of the time, that person won't pick up the phone, won't opt into your list, and won't email you to set up an appointment. We even went further and found out how many reviews it takes for a business to be trusted by a consumer. And astonishingly, it was almost the same number, between 6 to 10 reviews. So the bottom line is, without 6 five-star reviews, your business isn't trusted online. And that's the problem we're here today to solve to help you build a five-star reputation because astonishingly enough, 97% of consumers aged 18 to 34 read online reviews to judge a local business. Is there anyone left? You see what we're looking at here is a unique age group of millennials and the next group of buyers. And when 97% of them are using reviews to judge a local business before they call, your reputation is the most critical thing that you could do online for your marketing and to get customers. And it's not just the 18 to 34 age group. As a whole, it's 92% of consumers that now read online reviews for local businesses. So you can see a powerful shift has happened. And reputation marketing has proven to increase business by 19% by increasing a half-star rating online. As a matter of fact, the University of California in Berkeley published a result and they studied over 328 businesses and they found that if you just increase your rating by one half star, you increase your revenues by 19%. Now, more importantly, when we asked consumers, when you're searching for a business online, who would you call first? Only 18% said they would call a business that actually showed up on the search results. 27% said they would call a business that offered the cheapest service. And 55% said they would call the business that had excellent five-star reviews and a great reputation. So that just proves the point. So how does a business build a five-star reputation on autopilot? Get your prospects and customers to electronically sign in before you work with them by creating a five-star sign-in strategy. So let's take a look at how the strategy would look in your business. Step one, you have the customer sign in using an iPad or a tablet. And if you happen to go out to a customer regularly, you just have them sign in. Now when they sign in, you or your staff will instantly be notified with an email that the person is actually signed in, which works fantastic for people who are out in the field so that those in the office know exactly when the technician salespeople signed in. On top of that, in-house, this works brilliantly as well because a lot of administrators sit behind a desk where they ask people that come into the office to sign in. 
And so instead of having to check a clipboard every few minutes, they can easily be notified at their computer and stay focused on their work. Now, when they focus on their work, they get more done. But more importantly, when they click on that link, a virtual clipboard will show up for them where they can easily see if they got reviews from that customer. Export that list and import it into another program so they won't have to transcribe writing on a clipboard with sloppy handwriting. And they can track when the person came in. They can check off and know if that person already met with your staff for an appointment or already finished an appointment. And they can manage all their contacts inside their virtual custom CRM. That's a custom relations manager. But more importantly, the customer experience is where you're going to get amazing feedback. This works both on Apple and Android. And so your customers or clients would sign in, and then within a few hours later, uh, they would receive a text message asking them to leave feedback about their experience. Then when they click on the link, they are taken to a small optimized mobile page that would ask them, would you recommend us, yes or no? If they say no, we would take them to a negative feedback page that would ask the customer three very important questions. One, what went wrong? Two, who was involved? And three, how can we make this right? Now, these are three powerful questions that could turn any negative situation into a positive experience. And so by having them signed in and following up with them, you're getting instant feedback from the customer. Now, more importantly, when they say, yes, I would recommend you, they then get a choice between the most popular directories that you want them to leave reviews on. And what we have done is built a proprietary technology that when they click on Yelp or Yahoo or Google, we first see if they are already logged in. Because if they are logged in, we could take them directly to that place where they could leave the review. We don't have to go to the website, do a search for, for your company, click on a link, then click on a review us to get that review. We can take them right there. So literally, they are two clicks away on a mobile device from leaving a review. The second thing is if they are not logged in when we look at their phone, we have a proprietary technology that sees what apps they have on the phone. If they have a Yelp app, a Yahoo app, or Google app, we'll take them right to the app so they could sign in and actually leave the review. The most powerful thing with these two steps is that when you leave a review from a mobile phone, it's almost guaranteed to immediately show up and stay there because Yelp, Google, and all these sites know that when someone leaves a mobile phone review, it's from their phone typically as opposed to a desktop where they could be on almost any computer. And the third step is if they are not signed in or don't have an app, we send them to the page where they can log in if they have a username or password or create an account. So the power of this strategy allows them to be only two to three clicks away from leaving you feedback. And I want to give you a case study that shows you the incredible analytics that we personally developed to help every single one of our clients. And you can see here, we have two different strategies. The one on the left is an email campaign, and then the one on the right is a mobile campaign. And through just a few beta tests, we were able to get on autopilot without any extra work from our customers or clients, eight online reviews in seven days. We have both email and text messaging campaigns. You can see we don't just put a process together. We actually get very detailed as to when they're opened, if they're clicked, if they leave a review, and the actual review that was left. Now I want to go into further detail on how this powerful process works. So here's what we found on the mobile conversion case study. Out of 2,500 sign-ins, basically 50% clicked on the text message to leave feedback. It's astonishing. Now, the secret was that 90% of them were asked to leave feedback within two to three hours of experiencing the service or product. So the problem is that with most systems, they expect you to get an email list, then upload the email list, then mail them out. And we're all so busy in our business, we don't have time to do that every single day. So what happens is the best companies, even the top companies, will take their list at the end of the week 
and then email out to the customers two days, three, four, five days after they've had the experience. And some of them only do this once a month. Now, the key to getting great feedback is building a reputation and separating yourself as the market leader from everyone else is to ask them within a few hours of their experiencing your product how the service was. What we found is that we sent them a campaign of texts, not just one. We found that 710 out of the uh, 1,292, almost 54% clicked on the first text when we sent it. But this is the power of a great follow-up. The second time we sent them, 26% of them clicked on the link to leave feedback. The third time, 19%. Over 200 people left feedback. So just imagine if you only sent out one text, you'd be missing out on almost 50% of all the opportunity you have to get five-star reviews and feedback from them. Now, the next thing I want to talk about in the sign-up form is what directories are the most popular. Now, given the choice between Google, Yelp, and Facebook, Google won out over 60% of the time. 19% of the time it was Yelp, and Facebook 14% of the time. Now, we've all heard of the really big horror stories with Yelp and that people need to get more reviews on Yelp as well as Google. And it seems with this strategy, Google takes care of itself pretty easily. And that's why we created a proprietary technology called our Smart App Strategy. So what happens is instead of someone being given a choice of what directory they want to choose, with the potential of them choosing Google and not Yelp, what happens if they say yes, they would like to recommend this, is we can set the priority of them actually going to the directory. So if you would like to get six, seven, or eight, or ten reviews on Yelp, that won't be a problem. We'll make Yelp the priority, and when they click and recommend us, we'll search for the app on their phone. And if they have the Yelp app on their phone, we'll send them right to Yelp. If they don't have Yelp on their phone and they have Google, we'll send them to Google. What we have the ability to do is program the priority of where the reviews go to and literally change the entire landscape of reputation. The most powerful part of this is that the sign-in form strategy has all kinds of ways you can use it in a business. Number one, you can easily replace the clipboard sign-in form. There are still millions of companies using the 1974 way of signing in where someone comes in and fills out the clipboard, leaves it up by the administrator to translate your chicken scratches. That really gets frustrating for a business. What a bad way to collect data. Number two, you can also use the sign-in form as a way to build a list, like replacing a fishbowl. Three, it can also be used for a sign-out form. So if you have a business where a lot of people sign out, you can use it there. You can also use it as a site service sign-in. For example, air conditioner contractors, plumbers, electricians. You can have them sign in, and then three or four hours later, uh, the customer will receive feedback. So you'll know as a business owner what kind of service was given. Number five, sales accountability strategy. You have someone sign in and your salespeople get notified instantly and get all the information and you could track their accountability with it. Number six, you could use it as a VIP sign-in form. And number seven, you could use it as a sign-in form for trade shows or meetings or any type of shows. Number eight, a powerful list building strategy. Above all else, the most powerful thing you can do in your business is make sure you're building a list. Number nine, you could use it as an enter to win contest so that once a month you would give away a promotion to people who left your feedback. So if you want to build your business, there's one simple question you have to ask your customers. Will you sign in, please? So think of those five simple words. Will you sign in, please? If you incorporate those powerful five words into your business, you will build a list, you will get feedback from your customers, and you will build a great reputation with your customers because they know you care since you're following up with them. But most importantly, you'll get reviews online, build your reputation, and separate yourself from the competition. Now, we have a beta program, and I hope you've enjoyed the training so far.
So we've really given you an insight into one of the most proprietary processes we have ever built and one of the most successful processes we've ever built to help businesses dominate their marketplace. Now I want to introduce you to all that goes on behind the scenes because putting this process together isn't easy. But if you want to do it yourself, you could. So here's what you need to do. Number one, you would want to build a custom feedback CRM system. Now you want to purchase some sort of uh, CRM system so that everyone that left feedback would go into that system and uh, you could organize it all. Number two, you'd want to create a sign-in form. So you'd need to get some sort of a web page building system or some developer to do that sign-in form for you. Number three, you would need to connect the sign-in form and the email server and SMS server to leave text messages for your clients. Now, when you build a sign-in form, you must have the terms of service because one text message that is sent out without getting the proper terms of service agreed to can cost you $500 to $1,500 per text message. So you have to connect the sign-in form with the SMS server and with all the compliances. Number four, you then have to spend time writing the email and the text message requests. Number five, then you'd have to write the email thank you campaign. So if someone left a great review for you, you'd want to follow up with a thank you email. Number six, you'd then write an apology campaign where if someone didn't leave a good review and left you a negative feedback, you would want to send them an apology email. Number seven, You'd want to create a negative feedback page I spoke about so that they could leave negative feedback. The eighth thing you'll need to do is to install detailed analytics and tracking on every email, every page, every SMS message that goes out so you can track the progress and how successful everything is going. And number nine, you then have to manage it. And that's where we come in. We manage everything with monthly reports. Now, when we launch this program, there'll be a setup fee of $1,500 and a monthly fee of $299, and we'll manage everything. But we do have a beta going right now because we need your feedback, and we need to help build the system even better to make it more efficient and successful. So right now, if you'd like to take advantage of all this, we have special beta pricing. All we ask from you in return is you give us three referrals so we can get more people into the beta so we can get more feedback on their experience. And we need to cover our cost. So all we're asking is a two ninety seven dollars setup fee and you'll get the first two months free. All you have to do is click on the link and you'll be on your way to building your reputation and getting more customers. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation and that we've given you some insights on how you can build your reputation and your business. Until next time, Marvin Bezura signing off. Thank you.